it's addicting. Have you ever seen kids that got rid of their music? They go around like this. They can't wait to find a rock station somewhere, and they sneak off. It's like getting a cigarette or a fix because it's addicting. That's why they can't give it up. The rest of the conversation was this. You can't cast a spell on a Christian, but you can get a Christian to cast a spell on themselves. If you give the permission for the spell to work, being a Christian won't block it. And rock music is not just a song. It is supernatural music that which is carefully designed by their spirit guides, their familiar spirits, in the form of spells. Now, although the devil's music par is the music and God's music is the word, much of the songs are written in what we call which language. To give you kind of an idea. You talk on many of you talk on a CD, unless you know what you what a smoking is and uh, a ten four and uh, uh, a front door and back door and rocking chair and these type of things. You don't know what you're talking about. Same with witches. When you're in the first and second level, you have to learn over 2,000 words that said by anybody else means something totally different than when you say them. Elton John has said he's never written a song or sung a song that wasn't in which language. And I want to show you something. See how many kids in here, be honest, and adults. How many remember and have heard at least several times a song called Hotel California? Somebody tell me what it meant. Quickly, somebody tell me what it meant. Huh? That's pretty close. But from the words, what did it mean? That's more of a guess. See, most people can't tell you. That's why when people do drugs and they listen to songs in which language, they get some of the meaning. But most of the time, they can't tell you. Stop and think how many songs are out there that you really like and you don't have any idea what the person was talking about. Now, there's a few different ways to look at backwards masking. And uh, there's different types of what people call backwards masking. I'm not talking really about backwards masking. I'm talking really about backwards messages. In fact, one way to do it, which wouldn't require demons or higher intelligences to intercede, would be just to take the straight words, take seven or eight words in a song, and reverse them. And then when you played it backwards, you would hear those words. But when you heard it forwards, what would you hear? You'd hear something backwards. It wouldn't make sense. So when people talk about how backwards masking is done in the studio, yeah, that kind of backwards masking is done in the studio. No problem. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about when you hear music and lyrics forward, and then you hear those same lyrics backwards, and it's a message forward, and those same words are a message backwards. Okay? And we're not talking about one or two words. We're not talking about something like the cat and playing it backwards and trying to get something like cat backwards and something out of the... We're talking about sometimes over 15 words straight. We're talking about stairway to heaven right around 30 words. Okay? And we're not only talking about that, we're talking about a song that wasn't engineered to be heard backwards, but came right from the spirit world automatically. Okay? And then we're talking about if you wanted to make lyrics backwards on a song, you're going to mess up that song forward pretty bad, right? Well, stairway to heaven is the most popular song in rock and roll. So this, this destroys any kind of argument that, that comes against it. And what destroys it more is the lyric forward often has everything to do with the lyric backwards. And to take it even further, you can hear a lot of these same things on live albums backwards. Because it's the demonic spirits using these human beings. You understand that? So let's listen to it. Remember, first of all, that they were invoking Satan, that they got it from Satan, and listen to what you hear backwards. First we'll hear a little bit forward. Listen carefully. Raise your hand if you heard anything right away. Okay, that was without me even telling you anything. I've seen a lot of hands go up. Forward. Stairway lies on the whispering wind. Backwards it says, because I live with Satan. Listen carefully. Raise your hands if you heard that. Quite clear, quite obvious. There's a lot more. Her stairway lies in the whispering wind. Dear lady, just like the Led Zeppelin fans, because they, because their power is Satan. They live with Satan. That's, their, that's who empowers them. And they're following Led Zeppelin. They're really following Satan. Because Led Zeppelin were just four puppets. Satan could have used any four and form Led Zeppelin. It was Satan's music. Let's listen on. <laughs> Backwards. 
Backwards, he says, the Lord turned me off. Backwards, it says, here's so much from Satan. Did you hear that? Listen carefully. It says, I want to live it backwards like the death whose power is Satan. Did you hear that? And it says, he will give you, give you 666. <laughs> You are about to discover that V for the Data is a bold and almost prophetic picture of the Crowleyan ideal for ushering in the age of Horus and replacement of the age of Jesus Christ for the dying God. Unless the Crowley's Satanic Manifesto, the Book of the Law, was based upon the credo for the Satanic New Age called Do What Thou Wilt, Shall Be the Whole of the Law. Crowley stated, With my hawk's head I will pick out the eyes of Jesus as he hangs upon the cross. In the Book of the Law, Alexa Crowley actually teaches the sacrifice of children. He teaches elsewhere that the best sacrifice is that of an innocent male child. And he also teaches the sacrifice of young virgin girls and the dismemberment of their bodies and writing the names of demons upon their limbs. In fact, more close Crowley's satanic maxim, Do what thou wilt, shall be the whole law, and be for vendetta repeatedly throughout the graphic novel. Here on page 217, we see B telling Evie, Do what thou wilt, shall be the whole of the law. On page 187 of the graph novel, we see V after committing a string of murders of bringing anarchy, quoting Crowley again, stating, Do what thou wilt, so be the whole of the law. Here we see V telling Evie that if she wants him to murder somebody for them, that she's just to pick a rose. He says, quote, To pick a flower is not a large thing. Understand what is being offered here, and do as thou wilt. Alessia Crowley, the Satanist, Satan's chief of staff, as he called himself, he had stated that to influence popular culture, that his followers would get in touch with demons, basically sell their souls, and channel these demons to affect the masses. To be sure, it seems clear that Moore was channeling these entities long before he began practicing Crowley's magic, whether he was always conscious of it or not. He also claims to be in touch with a demonic entity that is, quote, highly skilled in mathematics and in the visual arts. Perhaps besides Moore's Gnosticism, his channeling of a demon that specializes in the visual arts also motivated Wachowski to adapt his satanic V character to the big screen. Moore claims that he turned to magic because he wanted to open himself up to occult forces that would help him in his writing ability. He stated, quote, I found that I couldn't progress any further with writing by strict rationality. If I wanted to go further with my writing, make it more intense, more powerful, make it say what I wanted to say, I had to take a step beyond technique and rational ideas about writing. It is something that was transrational, if you will, this being magic. In fact, V is the most catastrophic acts of terrorism uh, to blow up buildings and to cause anarchy to bring in his new world order. In fact, he even tells Evie, his sidekick, that blowing up buildings can change the world. In fact, there are a few not so subtle hints in the Wachowski Brothers movie, V for Vendetta, that do show you who V represents, representing, of course, the devil. In fact, there are even more in the graphic novel that make it clear as day that B is a depiction of Satan. Alan Moore, after mentioning Satan as Anton Banner LeVay in an interview, went on to talk about his collaborator who was hanging out with Carl LeVay, Anton LeVay's daughter. Alan Moore states that in Crowley's novel Moonchild and his novel Diary of Drug King, that Crowley portrays, quote, all the Satanists, end quote, as, quote, the good guys, end quote. This is obviously true in B for Vendetta as well. Another example in which V is portrayed as the devil is that he introduces himself before he commits a murder with the first lines from the Rolling Stones song, Sympathy for the Devil. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am a man of wealth and taste. Notice that V is depicted in this caption at the end of his declaration as the devil with horns. V, as in several other places throughout V for Vendetta, reveals his identity as not just a satanic figure, but as Satan himself. 